Hello and welcome to Cover Up Calypso, where I invite my co-recappers, Wing and Raven, to judge a book by its cover. So, let's do this. Behold, Double Love, the first book in the Sweet Valley High series. Lady and gent, what do you see and what do you think it means? Okay, well obviously I see the twins. I think that the one with the slightly smirky look and the beautiful denim jacket is Jessica. And the one with the yellow top that is basically fading into the background is Elizabeth. They have matching necklaces, don't they? God, they do. What do they yeah. call it? Lavaliers Lavali- or something like that? Lavaliers, Lavaliers or something like that. Okay. Which is a word I don't know that I've ever, ever used until this moment. Okay, fair enough. Um, I looked it up as a child and I think I looked up the wrong thing because I think it meant lace. And I was like, I think I've looked up the wrong word because she can't have a lace necklace. So, <laughs> I mean, but she yes. could, but that'd be way too cool for them. Also... I don't think we've gone to high school. I think we've skipped straight to college, possibly <laughs> to the work world, because they do not look 13 to 18, depending on where we actually are in high Definitely school. Definitely not. Uh, they're meant to be 16, but you're right. I see a Fox News anchor and a weather girl on their day off. Yes, I agree. Is it me, or do they just not look the same? They don't. They don't actually look like identical twins. Yeah, well, one of them has got horns. <laughs> That's... Oh my god, she does in her hair. Look at that. <laughs> Which one's got horns? Is it Jessica? Oh no, I was being metaphorical. Oh, you right. can see something I in the background. You can actually see horns up. on those. Is it? I think the hair on Jessica pops up like horns. I think that's a stretch. But, you know, maybe you can read auras. <laughs> I'll draw I... some on later. Okay, so to keep on track, what do we think this book is about? Uh, well, it's called Double Love. So I'm presuming it is about twin magic of some sort. Double love, double love. Two of them fall in love with a thing, a a, a boy, let's say Ken Matthews. And wild hilarity ensues. As much as I wish this was about tennis and them being oh, tennis be. stars without be. any sort of romance. That would be amazing. I think, <laughs> I think, based on the fact that the Elizabeth one sort of looks like she's hiding a knife behind <laughs> Jessica, I think, I too think they're going to fall in love with the same, probably the same person probably Todd, and one of them is going to try to stab the other one through the heart to return double love to single love. No, I'm going to go with the tennis thing now. I've just changed my mind. I think it's about the both... The entire book is just them being shit at tennis. That's why it's double love, because neither of them can score a point. Uh, Well, I'm very much glad that you know what double love means, because I had no clue. I just know that love is a tennis Uh, Love is what you start... I mean, basically, love is the same as zero. That's how many points you have in the game. So if it's 15 love, it's basically uh, 15-0. So if it's double love, both of them are on zero. Both of them are absolutely shit at tennis. Double losers. Except we know that Wakefields always win. Or is it Wakefields must win? So that would never happen. I can't get past the fact that they do not look 16. They look like they're in their late 20s, early 30s. Have they both got dimples in their left cheeks? Isn't that a big thing? Yeah, but they're also supposed to be super beautiful and no shade on the models um, that posed for this. But I do not look at these girls and think they're super beautiful. I just think they're average beautiful. Like, I know I'm basically throwing shade at women, which is not cool. But when the text endlessly tells you how ethereally perfect these girls are, you're like, oh, you're just a regular girl. I was expecting, like, the childlike empress from NeverEnding Story, only age 16. I wanted these girls to glow. You know, like Arwen in Lord of the Rings, when, you know, she walks forward and she's glowing. Or is it... No, it's the other one. It's Kate Blanchett. But anyway, you know. Gladriel, yeah. That's it. I Yeah, that's a good way to put it. They are kind of described as this perfect, impossible beauty. And these two, they're beautiful, but they look human beautiful. Yeah. And the hair is terrible, though I that hair is appropriate for the time period. I understand that. But oh, wow, was it terrible. 
cannot get past that. Either. I still can't get past the fact that I don't think they look the same. I think the the, the jawline's <laughs> okay. all wrong on both of them. I understand that one of them is slightly sc- askance looking at a, you know looking at a different angle, but they don't look like the same person to me. They're meant to be impossible. Maybe to tell one apart. of them is Jennifer. <gasps> Jennifer was the third one. Yeah, mm. or it's cousin Robin. Maybe one of them's actually She's Alice. like killed one of them cousin and taken their Robin. place. Love it. Cousin Robin doesn't exist in high. I asked um, Double Love podcast. They confirmed it. That maybe is it. Is this actually really meta? And is this about Double Love podcast? Are these the presenters of Double Love podcast? <laughs> it is not. That's a, no. that's a shame. Well, in that case, you're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. You getting wildly off topic so basically raven thinks it's about yeah. tennis and wing thinks it's about murder so yeah well that's it all i can say is stay tuned for the recap which comes out on monday okay thank you for listening and uh see you next week for cover calypso